Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Jordan and we're going to do a Q&A today um, for round, between round 10 and 11 for Supercoach. Uh, should be good. A couple questions here. I've moved from my regular spot about 7 metres I think. So that's exciting. Got the TV in the background. You can watch that if you want. Um, or you can just listen in because it's just going to be my face for um, me answering 30 odd questions. I'll keep it short. I'm not very good at reading so... If the question is too long, I will abbreviate it, um, just because of my reading capacity. So, yeah, I'm kind of limited there. But anyway, getting to the questions. Josh Roberts asks, "Nice score, mate." Question on the rookies: three rookies this week: Rice, Ridley, Smith, and the job security. I think you get Smith in. He should make 150k at least in two weeks. So get Smith in. He's tackling a lot. With Rice, I'm not sure about this. Um, a bit of competition for spots down back in St Kilda. Um, his name's Rice, that sounds like a delisted player's name. Uh, and Ridley, Ridley looked okay and Ambrose is out for Essendon, so his job security should go up. Um, definitely get Smith in and the other two, I'd go for Ridley to be honest, because now that uh, Ambrose is injured, but with the rookies, we're mostly guessing. We don't know. So, um, Smith, yes. Rice, probably not. Ridley, if you really need need him down back. Need a rookie downgrade down back. Purican1 says, Walters in for Petrarca or Fritch? Well, that's pretty sad it's got to this point. Um, I'm not sure how Petrarca's travelling. He's been kind of poor since he stuffed his finger. So, um... Probably get rid of Petrarca. Both have to go eventually. You could maybe you could keep one as uh, F seven. I'm gonna aim to keep Fritz as F seven. So um, probably Petrarca because he has to go eventually, and he hasn't um, filled me with much confidence. So not living up to his talent at the moment. But yeah, get in Walters and Petrarca has to go eventually. So you can get rid of him. Fritz is still gonna make a bit of money. Troy Vietnam says, damn, this is too long. No offense, I just can't read it. Damn, nice score, I got 2030. See, I have to say 2030 because I can't read. That's not good. That's um, that's unfortunate. But he's ranked 293 out of 80,000 in the tipping, so that's pretty good. At least you're doing the right in tips. First prize is 50K. Get that 50K, do whatever it takes. Um, yeah, I'd advise Tippy against GWS. They look pretty poor. Um, Adelaide aren't that good. Um, I'm not sure. I don't even do tips. I can't be bothered. I'd do them for the first few rounds and then I'll forget about them. Uh, but yeah, that's unfortunate you got that this week. But everyone has bad weeks. So it happens. But don't give up. Paul, it's a Greek last name. It's too long. Great score well played and great rank. Thank you, Paul. I hope you're doing really well in your season. N Stephen 24. I think that might be Nick Stevens. He's he's in jail, I think. Um, do you like Duncan from here on in Jords? I have five 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 k to spend on a mid. No, I don't like Duncan. He is a poor buy. Um, does he have potential to do well? Absolutely, but I think there's better options. I'd rather spend an extra 50k for Dangerfield. Um, Oliver's still around that price. Trelaw, um, Dusty. If you don't have him, it's four eighty k. Although I'm not, I'm avoiding Dusty for the time being. So I'm not a fan of Duncan, not at all. Um, especially because of the buy. If he didn't have the buy, it's still probably a no. But um, not for me. No Duncan. I think there's better options. Locky Calendar. Lachlan calendar, like a calendar, like a March, June, July. I had two, five, one, six this week. That is outstanding. If I had five as captain, I would have come 32nd overall. That's pretty good. Well done. I'm still not complaining with a top 1,200 finish. Do you think Walters or Brayshaw is a better option? So I assume he means Brayshaw from Melbourne. This was a one-off. Don't, don't chase Brayshaw. Remember Melbourne's draw? They played the four bottom teams. 
then they played a, a lazy, pathetic Adelaide Crows half SNFL team who didn't want to put in any effort. So he had free reign over the Crows. So don't trade in Brayshaw. I don't think it's worth it. I think he's probably going to average 85. Um, there's a lot of points to go around in Melbourne, and he's not going to um, take them all. So no to Brayshaw. So yes, I think Walters is the better option. Uh, yeah, I was going to say Brayshaw has a nice buy for the back line, but still a no from me. Oh, I can't pronounce this. Demetri Kiraku. Kiraku. Got the same score as you. How weird. That is weird. Um, is it time to get in the King, Patrick? Yeah, sure, if you want. Um, check your buys in your, um, in your midfield. You don't want to have too many buys because he shares with... Uh, Dusty, Fife, Matt Crouch, Parker, I guess because I have Parker, um, a couple others, Selwood, so just check your buys. If it's going to stuff up your buys, then no, wait for after the buy rounds. But um, if not, yep, go for him. Ben Hazeldine. Hazeldine, Hazeldine. Uh, I'm trading at Kelly, but should I go for Simpson or another premium forward or mid? Is Gaff a good option for M8? Or do I wait a couple of weeks to get Josh Kelly? Josh Kelly has a dodgy groin. He would have had a limited... Um, he, he's probably still building up his fitness from a long time out. Uh, dodgy groin, he, I don't think... I think he's a no-go just for this year. He's a star, Josh Kelly, but not for me this year. Um, just don't trust his groin. Uh, I think that's going to link. I think he needs a long time off. For that to fully heal and I don't I think he's not going to be at the peak of his powers this year so no to Josh Kelly but yeah trading out the other Kelly Timothy Kelly yeah he can go um, but should I go for Simpson I'm sorry I'm confused with this question anyway I anyway, I'll say yes yeah, Simpson if you want to get Sim Kate Simpson in yes get him in Andrew Gap I think he's a fine option excellent by um, dominating the comp right now so Yes, trade out Tim Kelly. Yes, get in Simpson if you want. Yes, get in Gaff if you want. I'd probably go for Simpson over Gaff. Um, and no, do not get in Josh Kelly this year. No, oh, Gaff or Simpson, uh, either, whatever is a priority for your midfield. Fraser Hunt, thoughts on your state of the game at the moment? Interesting question, non super coach question. So, my thoughts, I think the congestion is an issue. I'm glad I don't have to fix that problem. I know Lee Matthews and Malcolm Blight have been saying, um, don't go for zones, but have starting positions. So forwards start in the forward 50, defenders start in the defensive 50. I'm not against that, but um, yeah, I think congestion is an issue. And I also think the game is too taxing on players. Um, I just think we've never had a sport, I've never seen a sport, a team sport, that's just so physically taxing. Um, the combination of endurance and like, collisions during games. You know, players are clocking up 15, 16 kilometres a game. That's like a third of a marathon in a game. For 22 rounds, that's brutal. They're gonna, uh, their bodies are going to be broken. They're going to be in you know, a recovery. They probably can't move for two days. So I think the game should be shortened. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, I'm not really an expert in this, but... That's my thoughts on that. I think we need to look after the players and I know we've got to look after the fans as well, but I look after the players first, in my opinion. Especially when Patrick, he's crying out. He's always saying, shorten the games, shorten the games. So, um, yeah, I think shorten the game. Talk too much. You talk too much. How many trades do we want after the buy and when do we finish our team? Keep up the good work. Thank you. This is a great question. So how many buys do we want? So sorry, how many trades do we want after the buys? As many as possible. Um, just check when you finish your team. Say you want, I think, six to eight with a finished team at worst, to be honest. Um, maybe you can cut it with five. That's probably cutting it a bit fine. Because in the last few rounds, like round 20, 21, 22, 23, um, players, some players check out. Like we saw Dalhouse last year, he checked out for the second half of the season. Um, he was just awful, 
and that, that can happen with some players. Um, players get injured towards the end of the season. They need sometimes they get rested. Um, so, especially the last few rounds, we need at least four in the final four rounds, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, if you can get, say, six to eight after the buys and have a decent um, D6, M8, no, D6, M7 and F7, so a decent bench cover, I plan on keeping Holman as my M9, um, and hopefully I can get keep Dude as D7, so that will probably take me to about five trades remaining, so you definitely need a few up your sleeve, if you have two or three, you're doomed, I hate to break it to you, but... Um, you're going to need a lot of luck, but yeah, definitely get a cover, even if it's rookie. As long as they're playing, it's fine. Um, but yeah, you want at least probably six to eight after the buys with a completed team. Uh, so yeah, not, not the time to be sideways trading if you have low trades. So yeah, the great question. Thoughts on Tim, Tim Kelly to danger? I've got 350k in the bank from James Ram. Yes, do it. I don't see why not. Just check your bias though. Ill Tux. Scored 2, 5, 4, 9. Unbelievable score. Well done. Made all those lost places back with interest. What are your thoughts on Westhoff? Um, uh, not a fan, to be honest. He His role shifts a lot. Um, he's going to play 22 games like he always does. I think it's not a bad pick, but um, if you want to do it, go for it. Not for me. I think we're looking at a... I think since Ryder's been in the team, I have to double check this. I think he's averaged 95. So that's probably a little bit overs. So um, probably, probably a no. Look for cheaper alternatives. I also... But if you really want, you can go for it. So um, it's not a hard no, but um, no from me. I also don't have Robbie Gray, but I'm a bit concerned about him now. Yes, me too. Um, I think he's going to score big sometimes, but he's also going to score uh, low. So, Roberto Gray, um, yeah, you don't need to bring him in. Maybe when he's cheaper, you can bring him in. But right now, four, uh, five, forty k, too much. So yeah, don't worry about Robbie, Robbie Gray for the time being. James Radley, Candies win the flag. You go to hell. Should I get uh, so Adam Murray? Should I get Walters in the forward line or Matt Crouch in the midfield? I could also get Tom Rockliffe to get more money. Okay, so um, probably Walters. Yeah, get Walters in the forward line rather than Matt Crouch in the midfield. Not a, I love Matt Crouch. He's going to be my first pick next year. Has a few hamstring issues right now. Um, which is a really big concern. And not only that, uh, Sam Jacobs is getting slaughtered in the ruck. So that's really not helping the Crows midfield at the moment. So I wouldn't worry about Matt Crouch this year, unfortunately. I was pretty big on him this year, but unfortunately the hamstring is a bit of a concern. Uh, yeah, so don't worry about Matt Crouch. It's a little risky right now. Um, Tom Rockcliffe. No. I think there's another Tom Rockliffe question. I'll talk about him soon. But yeah, go for Walters over Matt Crouch. Andrew Davenport. Big score by you, mate. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thoughts on Rocky. Is his price too good to turn down? Back in the middle, and 95 plus would be fantastic, realistic result for the rest of the season. I disagree that 95 plus would be a good result. Oh, it'd be okay for the price, I guess, but for that M8 slot, we want 110, not 95, so, and preferably someone who's not injury prone. My thoughts on Rockcliffe is, he's burnt, he's burnt us many times before, injured last year, injured in the preseason, um, I think two injuries in the preseason, he still had that shoulder. I think he did a calf during the year or something. Um, if you pick him, uh, I hope you enjoy your score of 20 that's coming in a few weeks. 
He's injury prone. He's not guaranteed to play full time midfield, although it looks like that right now. We've seen this before. Um, yeah, don't pick Rockliffe. I'm. A lot of people are saying, oh, he's cheap. The buyers average 130 one year. Um, plays practical jokes, I think. No, he's. It's not what we want. This game is about durability, so it's not a huge risk because of his price and the buys, but it's a waste. It's a waste of time for me. And don't get carried away if he goes big the next two or three weeks. He's going to come falling down to earth, like he always does with injury. And he isn't even like 100% this year. So no to Tom Rockcliffe, and I haven't even considered him. I'm seeing guys like. Do we bring him in? Do we not? It's like 50-50 split. For me, it's 0 to 100. Like I'm 0% chance of getting him in. So no to Rockliffe. Snags, Gordon Ramsay. Actually, funny thing, I was at a pre-drinks the other day and at the pre-drinks, they were playing, um, rather than music, like a Gordon Ramsay, like highlights of him in the kitchen. It was just really funny. Uh, it was just weird. Um, yeah. Can't, I can't get enough Gordon Ramsay, he's funny. Anyway, Snags, was Source Merit, um, well, his picture is Gordon Ramsay, that's why I said that. Was Source Merit the best defender of this generation? No, he's a Ranga and he's a sniper, so no, he isn't. Um, and he's on Triple J, I don't like Triple J. Well done, Ice Cube, White Shadow 59. Not really sure what that means, but um, I like Ice Cube as a rapper and in movies, I think he's cool. Got that song, I Rep That West. That's a good song. Max Thompson asks, Logan Austin, question mark. Um, competition for spots down back at St Kilda, so I think we can just wait a week for this. Uh, no reason to jump on him just yet, so wait a week. Um, looks good though, promising. Rain Oates asks, it's uh, a long question. So you got 19.15 a few weeks ago, and cracked two... 500 this week. That's pretty good. Good job. Hoping T Smith from the Demons holds his spot. Me too. I think he will. Talk too much asks another question. Kerno or Gaff? Um, Gaff. Kerno, a little bit unproven. So that's the only re reason why, but he's been excellent this year. Roy Hewson is a double downgrade to Rice and Tim Smith. A good option this week. We'll get Walters and Yo next week. Uh, you need to get Walters this week, his break even is too low. And Yo, he's not playing next week, so maybe don't get him in next week. But um, yeah, get Smith in. Get Smith and Walters in this week. I don't think Rice is a must have. With, with uh, chicken and beef black bean, Rice is a must have, but not in Supercoach. That's Baller. Everyone on this channel is over 2.4k. I only cracked 2.2, it feels bad. It's, it's a 22 round, it's a 20 round game. No, 22 round, 23 round game. You're not always gonna be above or at par. Um, I had a week where I scored 2,087 or something, and I dropped significantly in the rankings. So the main thing you take out of every year, even if you don't do well, make sure you, um, you take something out of the year. So maybe you learn you know, not to pick too many mid prices or uh, maybe you should have picked some value picks. Maybe, you know, Dustin Martin, next year, do I spend uh, 650k on three midfielders or something? So, um, you know, because it's hard to be consistent in this game for 23 rounds. It's, it's really hard. Players have, um, players are up and down. So maybe, you know, you learn next year not to overspend in the midfield or something, whichever. What you've done wrong, learn that for next year. Schwartz Quinn. Uh, okay, so I got like 3,350. That's pretty good. You should, you should have a YouTube channel with that score. But I think he meant 2,350. Thinking of trading Zach Fisher, who's playing well, but getting no points, then upgrading Tim Kelly. Who should I get? Gaff, potentially Danger or Mitchell. We'll get Tom Mitchell in now. Um, and go for Gaff or Danger, whichever one. I would probably go for Danger. I think after the buy, he'll have a rest. He'll be ready to go. But yeah, get rid of Snake Fisher and get rid of Tim Kelly. Which
Or you can hold Zach Fisher for the buys. So, yeah, get rid of Tim Kelly for Tom Mitchell. Tom Murphy, I've got 11 trades left, but nearly a full primo team. Is that a problem? Probably not. Um, if you have six trades left with decent cover, rookie cover, then I think you'll be okay. Anything less than that might be in trouble. You might have to not upgrade one player for the season. Samuel Johnston. Bought Rockcliffe and Walters in this week. In terms of cheapish mids, uh, my cat is banging on the door. Hold up. <laughs> Well, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I've lost where I'm up to. What do you think of this trade? Tim Kelly to McRae and Banfield to Walters. No to McRae. Uh, even though I did it, it's so much money. It's so much money. Banfield to Walters looks good. If you want, you can go for McRae, but if you have not many trades left, then I do not recommend it. But yeah, Banfield to Walters looks good. Samuel Johnston brought in Rockcliffe and Walters this week. In terms of cheapish mid to trade in next week, who would you advise? Someone around 500k. Maybe look at Dusty or maybe Gibbs as a risk. No to Gibbs. No, never averaged near 110. No to Gibbs. Big no no. Uh, yeah, Dusty should be okay. He's more than capable of averaging 110. Although it doesn't really doesn't look like it right now. But yeah, I didn't see much wrong with going for Dusty. Um, could go Gav for 550k or Trelaw for a bit more. But yeah, Dusty at his price, I think you can definitely go for that. Last question, Will Barnett. Do you think Rockliffe will be a good MA option? Because I know he's on your Never Again list. And do you think Henry for T-Smith will be worth it? Because Henry has a good break even after his 99 last week. Good stuff, Ben. I'm enjoying the videos. Thanks, man. Thank you, Will. Uh, where there's a will, there's a way. So, no, I don't think Rockcliffe will be a good MA option. I don't think he'll be a good M9. I don't think he'll be a good M10. I don't think he'll be a good M11. I don't think he'll be good at all. So, he should be an alright M11, because you can loophole him when he's injured. But no, I don't. No, Rockcliffe. Henry for T-Smith. Uh... Yeah, I think there's more, way more money to be made in Tim Smith than Henry. Um, but Henry might be useful over the buyers. So if you have someone else, like Spargo or, or um, Jack Higgins, then you can trade in T. Smith for them. But um, if not, then yeah, trade out Henry for T. Smith. So that's all the questions. That went a little long, but um, hopefully you stayed tuned. If you did, well done. Uh, that's all from me. I'll see you guys Sunday night, I'll do a video. I've had two exams, I've had one, I've got one to go, which is really good. And um, it's been good because I haven't paid for parking, because I've been parking in a two hour parking spot and I haven't got a ticket yet, so had some good luck this week. Anyway, that's all from me. Good luck, uh, have a good day.